It's Shalom. All praises to Yahweh Bashim al Shah. Double honors to the apostles of, El um, of Great Millstone, the elders, that we learn this knowledge from through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. You know, Barak Da Yahweh, Barak Da Yahweh Shah. Um, episode one of uh, GMS Open Notebook. Where I go into my notebook and, uh, you know, pull out a few scriptures for edification's sake. You know, first of all, to edify yourself, like Elder Gabar says. And then second, to edify the Akim, you know, that watch with sincerity and the truth, you know, and help build each other up for the time to come. All right, the first scripture I want to go into, because the topic, um, I had a few scriptures I want to go into on the return of Yahweh Shah. How is the Lord coming? The Lord is coming with clouds. Um, yeah, matter of fact, start off, I'll start off with uh, Isaiah 66, uh, verse 15. You know, how, how is the Lord coming back? The one that the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, how is he coming back? Um, Isaiah 66 and 15, it says, For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Yeah, that's how the Lord is coming back, with fire and with his chariots. What are the chariots? The chariots are the, the, are the, the so-called UFOs, the, the uh, so-called white man deems UFOs or unidentified flying objects, right? They're considered the angels of the Heavenly Father. You know, and the whole world is going to see him pursuant to uh, Revelations uh, 1 and Revelations 1. You know, and these, these are, uh, you know, basic scriptures, but it's good to uh, go over the basic scriptures, you know. Uh, Revelations uh, 1 and 7, it said, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierced him, and all the kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Who is the him? Yahweh Shah, man. You know, he cometh with clouds and every eye shall see him for pursuing to the prophecy. Even Yahweh Shah said how he's going to come back. You know, Yahweh Shah tell you how he's going to come back. I'm going to read it again. It says, um, Behold, he cometh with clouds and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierced him and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. You know, um, the next scripture is uh, Matthew's uh, the 24th chapter. This is Yahweh Shah speaking. Um, uh, Matthew's 24 And um, I'm going to start at uh, verse I'm going to start at verse 21 It says um, For then shall be great tribulation Such as was not since the beginning Of the world to this time No nor No nor ever shall be Except those days should be shortened there no flesh be saved. There should no flesh be saved, Shalakia. But for the elect's sake, those days should be shortened. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is the anointed, or there, believe it not. So, you know, that's implying that men are going to try to say that the anointed, Yahweh Shah, uh, he's here, he's there, he's at the Vatican, or he's in Jerusalem, so on and so forth. That's going to be, we know that's going to be bullshit, but so on and what Yahweh Shah said. Um, it says, then if any man shall say unto you, lo, here is the anointed, or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false anointed, or false Christ, and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Behold, I have told you before, Yahweh Shah speaking. It says, Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in a secret chamber, believe it not. For as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Yeah, because the, the coming of the Son of Man, the Lord is going to come from the sky. He's going to come from the, from, the, from the heavens, you know. Let me see something, uh, let me just go into, uh, you know, just a pretty quick side note that just ran into my head real quick, um, um, cause I remember, uh, when we, when we read the, uh, when we read the prayers at the, the Pesach, let me see, yeah, um, Psalm 121, it says, um, this is just a side precept that just came to my mind. I'm going to read it. It says, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made the heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. 
he that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Now, the reason why I brought that scripture out is because it says, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. Um, I thought that, uh, basically thought, basically that was uh, implying the, the coming of Yahweh Shah, we, lifting up your eyes. But um, I just brought that out because that just came to my mind, you know, through the spirit, you know. Um, but it ain't my help coming from the Lord, you know, Yahweh Shah, you know. The, the Lord give us, give us, give us, give us salvation. You know, but let me go back into this. Uh, this is uh, Matthew 20, 24 and 27. It says, For as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. It says, um, for, for wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. And the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of heaven shall be, be shaken. And then shall appear the Son of Man, Shalakia. Then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds. Like we said, the chariots, the Son of Man coming in the clouds. And all the tribes of the earth are going to mourn when they see this. It says, um... It says, they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. So Yahweh is going to come with power and great glory. Just like the scriptures say, the Lord shall come with fire and his chariots like world, like a whirlwind. You know, he's going to come with that power and that great glory. And it says, and he shall send his angels with, it says, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. So, you know, it's going to be a loud trumpet. And that day, the, the Lord is going to uh, blow his trumpet, man. And he's coming to gather his elect, you know, from the four winds of the earth. You know. Um, another quick precept. I, got, I, got, I think I have like two more precepts. Um, this is... Uh, let me see. This is uh, Thessalonians, the uh, book of Thessalonians. First Thessalonians. Oh shit! Damn, Satan, man. <laughs> hey, I'm just sitting in the car. You, you. you. I'm just sitting there. You giving me a ticket? No, not yet. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just sitting in the car. Can I? I know. I see you. You oh, only right. get 15 minutes, though. Oh, I'll get... Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Uh, shit. Yeah, it's a lot here, man. For, you know, uh, when the scriptures come out, Satan is in, in the midst. Nigga, woman. You know? Just bringing out these scriptures, you know, real quick. This is a quick edification video. I'm running over time schedule now be a quick 15 minute video lord's will um and i lost my train of thought lost my train of thought yeah um yeah you know hey when the lord comes it's gonna be an end of this uh you know this bureaucracy bullshit tickets and coming in the city having to pay you know money and all of that yeah how is going want to put it into that man you know, Yahweh Shah, he, he's definitely going to put an end to that. Um, yeah, let's see, let's see, let's see. Thessalonians. Yeah, hopefully she don't come back, man, you know. Uh, Thessalonians. The uh, First Thessalonians 4.16. Yeah, this is the book of First Thessalonians, the fourth chapter in the 16th. I'm going to start it. The 13th verse, I'm going to read through here real quickly as possible. It says, um, 
But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that sorrow, not even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Yahushua died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Yahushua will, will Yahweh bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of Yahweh, and the dead in Yahweh shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, so shall we ever be with the Lord. So like, like when we said uh, earlier, when it when it mentions in um, Matthew the 24th chapter, if somebody says, or you know, if these elites set up some type of gimmick where Yahweh shot, where they say that the world, and we call Jesus Christ, is here or there, don't believe him because our faith is that Yahweh Shah is going to deliver us in the clouds in the chariots of the Heavenly Father. You know, that's 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 where our faith is, man. You know that we we be uh, caught up. That's why it mentions in Wisdom of Solomon, uh, the fifth chapter, uh, the strangeness of his salvation. You know, um, another quick scripture where it talks about the elect, um, because in, in in the book of Matthew's it mentions um, the angels. In, in Matthew's the twenty fourth chapter it mentions the angels. Uh, let me let me go back to it real quick. Uh, it says um, Matthew's twenty four and thirty one. It says. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect. You know, the angels gather together the elect. Now these same angels, the same angels, is, uh, angels uh, throughout the four corners are uh, the four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, waiting for the elect to be sealed, man. Uh, this is our uh, Revelation seven and one. It says, and after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth nor on the sea nor on any trees and i saw another angel ascending from the east having the seal of the living power and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea saying not hurt shalakia it says verse three it says saying hurt not the earth neither the sea nor the trees till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads then i heard the number of them which were sealed and there were sealed in hundred and forty four in hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel and those those men um going back to pursuing back to uh the Lord's elect in um Matthew's the 24th chapter the 31st verse that's referring to the elect you know his elect you know it says um it says, and he shall send his angel with a great sound, with the great sound of a trumpet, and he shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one one end of heaven to the other. Hey, Yahweh is dealing with the elect. He's coming from for the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, that's what he's coming for, man. Um, so just uh, edification on um. You know how the Lord is going to come back, you know, out of his own mouth and out of the mouth of witnesses. You know, how the Lord, Yahweh Shah is going to come back and, and what's going to happen. You know, how the Lord is going to come back. He's going to come with fire and what the Lord is going to do, you know. It's just a, a video of edification. So with that, all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles, the great millstone. Salutations to you, you brothers pre preaching the word. This is the first episode of... Uh, uh, GMS uh, open notebook we, we go into a notebook and uh, bring our scriptures for edification you know through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Shalom